Who is it? Are you the director of the ASEC? Yes, Suzanne Stanwyck. You are? I'm Jason Morgan. You're Brenda's ex-husband? Miss Barrett? Hello. You're already there. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, am I early? I'm, I'm never early. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. No, I sent the crew away because I heard you don't like to work in front of a crowd. Oh. Well, thanks. And uh, the hair and makeup people are in your dressing room. Great. Thank you. I, 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 I'm sorry. These aren't the dresses, right? Those are the dresses. Cartulo's wedding dress for the winter season. Oh, I... Uh... I, I can't wear a wedding dress. Huh? I'm sorry, I can't wear a wedding dress. <laughs> Cartulo was specific. Uh, they want you photographed as a bride. Oh. We will find a solution, don't worry. This is perfect. Oh, good. I will have you stand just right here in front of the light. You look very beautiful, Miss Barrett. Oh, please, call, call me Brenda. And I'm Gilles, by the way. Yes, I, I, I know that you're Gilles. <laughs> Um, I'm so sorry. I'm, uh, I'm really excited to work with you. I should have said that to you earlier. Oh, the honor is mutual. I've wanted to chance photograph you. And I regret the confusion we had about the dress. Oh, it's fine. Someone from Cartula must have forgotten to tell me. It's, it's fine. No problem. And you look lovely in that dress. Thank you. Have you ever been married, if I may ask you? Uh, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Okay. Oh, I, Brenda Barrett. Take you, Jason Morgan, to be my husband. Oh, to have and God. to hold. Can we just skip that part? Uh, Mr. Morgan. Do whatever you want. Skip. Skip it. To love and cherish. We could just skip that. Honor and obey. We could skip all that. Better or worse. I can keep that. Richer or poorer. I'm richer. Sickness and in health. Miss Barrett. That must have been some wedding, huh? Yeah, it was memorable. <laughs> yeah? Memorable? What was the best part of your marriage? Uh, getting divorced. <laughs> <laughs> I need the details of the threats against Brenda, and I need to know everything you know about the kidnapping attempts and a list of the security measures that have been taken so far, please. <laughs> I'm not telling you anything until I know a lot more about you. Why would Brenda put you down as the person to contact in case of an emergency? I don't understand how Brenda thinks. Well, she never talks about you. Good. So I'm going to need some details about your relationship. What do you need to know? Uh, how did you happen to get married? I was the only option available. Meaning? She had no other options. So I take it it didn't last very long. How did, why did you break up? No, better question. Why did you get together in the first place? Okay, Brenda thought she was getting sick, so she needed, needed somebody to take legal responsibility for her in case she couldn't take care of herself. The two other men in her life were married, I wasn't. I got stuck with Brenda. So you're telling me you're not in love with her? So tell me about your fantasy wedding, what would it be? You want something big and fancy or small and intimate? <laughs> my wedding and you hurt me more than I ever thought you could. You did it, Sonny. You finally got me back, didn't you? You finally got me back for wearing that wire and betraying you. You're really happy now. You're so pretty, Brenda. Perfect. Perfect. Again. I can't marry you, Brenda. Not when your heart belongs to someone else. Where is this coming from? I don't... I know that you were kissing Sonny last night on the pier.
Brenda, are you okay? Let's just say Brenda and I don't get along. Then why are you here? You called me. Said she was in danger. Have you heard of a crime figure known as the Balkan? Is that who's threatening Brenda? Interpol thinks so. When was the first attack? The night of August 11th. Brenda was a presenter at an awards ceremony. A man backstage tried to slash her face. We realized later he wasn't a fan. He was working for the Balkan. The same with the two men who tried to drag her into a van a couple of nights later. And then most recently, two thugs got into her dressing room, held a knife to her throat, and dragged her out. Thank God for the paparazzi. I'm sure you're questioning the efficacy of our security force. Brenda ignores security. She's almost impossible to protect. You know, you and I have a lot in common. I think this could be the start of a very productive friendship. It doesn't matter if I like Brenda or not. If she's in danger, I'm not going to let anything happen to her. That's a generous attitude. Or do you just have a savior complex? Brenda means a lot to some people who are close to me. I assume you mean people back in Port Charles. <sighs> Brenda has a gift for inspiring people to care about her no matter where she is. I don't need to care about her. I just need to make sure she's safe so I can go home. Well, if that's true, you're the exception to the rule. Most men find Brenda compelling and almost impossible to leave. Very good energy. Very good energy. I like it a lot. You are a woman all men dream of. Hey. Now what? I guess it's up to you. But why is this happening? Do you have a coat? Where are you taking me? Anywhere you want. I want to get married and I want you to take me to Sunny. Anywhere but that. Why? Forget it, I'll find it myself. You won't find him. Why not? I am so sick of your stone face. Do you know that? Obviously, he sent you here. So why did he send you here? Again, Jason, I'm not going to sit here and conduct my relationship with Sonny through you. Brenda. You don't have one anymore. why he sent me. Brenda? Brenda? Are you sure you're okay? Okay. How was the shoot? The photographer says that Cartulo is going to love the photographs. But you don't? I don't know. So, why didn't you tell me that it was a bridal shoot? Brenda, I have nothing to do. No, I, I'm, I'm asking you, what would you, you have nothing to do. I, I walk into this photo shoot, and there was a rack of wedding dresses. I almost walked out. Well, I'm glad you didn't. I want you to call Cartulo 
and I would like you to tell them that I am going on a trip for ASEC and they may put as much security around me as they would like because I certainly wouldn't want to upset anyone right now. If there is another trip for No, 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 no not, not, not if. I just said there is going to be another trip. Why do you think I just put myself through that horrible photo shoot? Did, are, do you listen to anything that I'm saying to you ever? Look, I appreciate that it was no, difficult. you don't appreciate and you don't know how I feel. Trust me on that one. There is a man standing there, a stranger, asking me personal questions about me. This is none of his business. He doesn't even care what the answers are. Do you realize that? He just wants to see if he can get some vulnerable look to come across my face so he can put that face out into the world and then the world can pick that face apart. I hate modeling and I've told you that a million times. It's a pointless, meaningless, ridiculous, mindless occupation. And I don't even need to be doing this anymore. And I shouldn't even be doing this anymore. But you, you're the one, right, Suzanne, who keeps telling me that I need to become more famous. Because if I'm not super famous, I'm not going to be able to do anything good for these kids. Well, yes, that's the way it works. But at some point, putting yourself in the spotlight just becomes too dangerous. Okay. I would like you to take a second and make up your mind about what it is that you would really like for me to do. Because our security people don't know what they're doing. Apparently, men with knives can get past our security. Do you realize the other night when those men came into my dressing room? They walked right into my dressing room, Suzanne. Where was our brilliant security? I mean, look, let's face the truth. If some guy really wants to kill me, he could walk through this door right now and there would be nothing that we could do about it. If we decide that it's safe enough for you to take another trip for no, ASAP, not, and not, it's a big if. Not if. I'm going. We're going to have to make major changes in security. It's going to be intense, and you're going to hate it. Okay, I, I have an idea. So I promise to stop hating it if you guys can find someone who actually knows what he is doing. Oh, yeah. oh look, it's someone here to kill me. Let's see who it is. Brenda, don't open the door. Who is it? Oh my God! No, 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 no! Call security, Suzanne. Call security. Jeez. Uh, I think I'll uh, let the two of you work this out. No, no, I actually don't want you to leave this alone because this is the he's my ex-husband. Just tested your security. I got up here in 10 minutes without being seen. Yeah, well, your tests don't really count because you're a professional killer. So are the people who are after you. Do you really want to die? Right. So you came all the way from Port Charles to test my security. Why is the Balkan after you? Who who told you about the Balkan? Why? Just answer the question. Why is the Balkan making you a target? I don't know. You don't understand how dangerous this guy is. Look, I have actually built an incredibly lovely life for myself here. So the last thing my security team needs is some buff guy from upstate New York coming and telling them how to do their job. They actually know what they're doing. Then why did you almost get your face slashed and kidnapped twice? Who's telling you all these things? Uh, Suzanne? Suzanne? She's an exaggerator. Yeah, you ignore everything you hate, including the people who are trying to kill you. No, that's my business. So what's your business here? Oh, well, Brenda, I'm glad you asked. My business here, um, well, by the way, it's nice to see you after eight years. Um, Sonny told me to come and protect you, and so that's why I'm here. Sonny doesn't even know I'm here. 